Hello and welcome back to... Oh, I was about to say something else, but Escape from Mars and Space Engineers. And let's see what we can get up to. Now, I haven't been playing for a little bit, uh, like a week where there has been no content. And if you wonder why, it's a fairly simple reason. And it's because I have been... I've been busy. It, it has been a lot of things in a very short amount of time and I once I was free from whatever it was I needed to do I've been basically asleep so I felt like rather than forcing myself to record I take a week off and see if I can restore my energy a bit However, that also means I don't really know exactly where I left off completely. And I do know I did the flight research station. And I have sort of a vague idea of something. But I'm not like, actually sure, sure of the finer details. So I think I have a, I have a, I think a good idea for what I want to do with um, my large grid mobile base sort of thing I think it's my flying vessel I'm less certain about if I even want one I'm not sure I probably do because flying is a lot quicker and weirdly enough safer way to move around but hmm, yeah I, I'm not sure maybe I'm just going to do the large rover though since the large rover is going to be sort of a, a base I don't really want to be in combat with it so, yeah, I would very much rather not do that, to be per perfectly honest, but I mean, if I need to, if I really, really have to, I need to, then sure, but hmm. I do want to make sort of a think aircraft carrier when it comes to the mobile base and I think both shape and purpose is the easiest way to describe it as a aircraft carrier. Now let's see if we can get some more Oxygen and stuff. Here we go. Um, now. I have the large grid battery pickup. Which is basically a place where I can pick up a lot of large grid batteries. Which I do need to go and get. And I wonder... Hmm, I wonder what how the best way to transport them is going to be. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that what I should do is try to make something like a start of my vehicle. Let's see. Before we go too crazy with flying around. Let's set up a hot bar. Don't really care which wheels I use, but I do. I do want the five by five. So, whatever. If I'm going to do a large grid rover, I need it to be a large grid, like the biggest ones. And I think that's the way around, correct way around. Uh, no, it's not. Hmm. Or is it? Whatever. Let, let's check in a different way. Is it like this? Um, no, I think that one has to be on the top. Oops, wrong way around. And six. Uh, yes. Okay, so... That yellow... Yeah, that big round needs to be up, and that yellow half ring needs to be up. Okay. Good to know. So... How big do I want this to be? I do want it to be fairly big. Oops. But I don't want it to be too big because... It... I don't think it's going to be a good idea to... Move around... Even though there's going to be a fairly large area with flat surface to drive on, I don't think I want to do this too wide or too long. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I could do some like hinge or like a spine like moving spine where that's a bit too much I think I don't really feel like doing that um let's have the wheels here and what I do want is sort of something like this where I can have more wheels sticking out there that's one and then have you like 
there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, it's even. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's move this. Not two, but one. There we go. And I think this is an acceptable like start. Three. One, two, three. And there we go. I'm not sure if I'm going to have like the rare, whichever side is going to be the rare. Um to have the raced wheels. But I do want to have something that can take an impact just in case. Um, now, I have a few options when it comes to getting batteries from that thing. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I should do this one see if i can fit something here so they are somewhat center lined and then transport them here and one way or another merge block them onto this i need i need like two batteries to get it going that's what i need i don't really need much else and um i think what i should be doing is unload sort of as much as possible since it is fairly heavy this one right now i think the only stuff that i should try to keep on this is ammunition and ice and that's about it And maybe like a tool or two, but not that much else. Um, how much more? A lot more. Okay. I still haven't like and th this is the reason why i want a, a big uh mobile base basically because it means i don't have to do this at least not very often and if i do need to do it it's a lot easier because i can connect everything to one one uh, vehicle and just drag it into the inventory um let's see 
How much? I have 20,000 liters left, which we can cram in somewhere. Yeah, I need to. I need to move around the weight and this thing. If I want to be able to move those batteries, I think I'm going to need something like that. Um, now, before we go, what I need to do as well is basically make a simple crane and see what uh, what I need. I need something like a place. Through the Corporation transport vectors, I have determined there is an illegal weapons research facility hidden at this location. I'm going to Suhad. Hmm. Where? Oh. Uh... I completely derail. I have no idea where, where I was in my thoughts. Uh, oh no, uh, right. W what I need to do is see sort of um, how do I, like how do I fasten it onto this thing and how do I I think a landing gear is the easiest w way and uh yeah i think landing gear is the easiest way Let's see landing landing there you are landing gear um do I need more than one? I don't think so. I should put it like... Like that way around. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need more than one. And let's see. Piston. Block. That should be enough space for large grid battery without any major issues. Um Nah, I need more space. And I need to do... There. Two like that, that should be enough. Two there. And 
then see if we can do this without clanging stuff. Even though it is clanging a bit already, I think I think we have done something that should sort of work. So, let's see if we can get this to actually work. That would be nice. I'm not going to do the trip unless I see it working. It would be sort of useless to make the trip and then discover that, uh, yeah, no, nah, it doesn't actually work. Hopefully, it should work. Let's see what we can do. Um, that is that one. Um, piston up. Piston down. I have to name them all so we know <laughs> which way they actually go. And that's left. That's also left. That is right. That is up. And that is left. So... What we should be able to do is now say that uh, right what, what we can do is uh, use all of put them in uh, this turn up group piston left and down and right is only once we don't technically need to do a group uh, let's see up extend retract and I need to set the velocity to be a lot less since I'm doing them all. Extend. Retract. Um, extend. Retract. Extend. Right is also there. We go. So what that? Yep. So what we can do now? Can actually test to see how far. What I want to do. Let's go to 
on the up put you to have a minimum distance of 0.5 maybe less Yeah, I think that for a bit more space and yeah that should be it should be good enough and I need one more of these Here we go. And what I need to make sure is that they are especially not the one there should absolutely not be on auto lock. This one should be off so it can't lock anything by accident. So technically speaking I do have I now do have the crane. I do have the capabilities of getting things for this. And I think I will do that. And yeah, let's start the journey right now. Probably shouldn't go into the hole. The crane might make this a bit interesting to drive. Might have to do sheer inertia tensor on, on all of them just to not have some weirdness going on but hopefully it should be fine now wh what is the goal the goal is to get to the large grid bats pickup make sure we don't drive through the cheek of headquarters uh, en route and we are going to pick up one or two not sure exactly how many i'm going to be able to to get but i'm going to try to get as many as possible two would be nice to get but um it's better to actually safely make the journey than not getting there at all because for whatever reason for whatever stupid thing I did it was a stupid thing to do so small steel tube shipment I'm getting closer and closer to headquarters hopefully i will not be t be too close make sure i don't get within five kilometers and i should be fine if i stay that far away i think The G Corp headquarters is def heavily, heavily defended. So, if you're not confident in taking taking on multiple enemies and 
such. Uh, yeah, I don't think you should even think of trying. It's fairly close, but I'm not getting massively closer like I did before so I think we're fine now there is one place I haven't found yet and I think the only way of finding it is by exploring and actually finding it and that is Mickey Scrap the Mickey Scrapyard and for the time being it's not critical but it's going to be very very useful later on especially if I take a lot of heavy damage and need to replace vehicles and parts of vehicles and stuff like that at that point it will be very very useful to have access to Mickey Scrap. But I haven't found it yet, and I really don't know which way to go for, for that. And I uh, don't have a compass, so can't really say, okay, I'll go west, uh, because I don't really know which way is west. Um. <clears throat> when it comes to when, when it comes to the, um, the large grid, um, I do have a fair image in my head of what I actually sort of want. And I think the, the closest way of describing it is, as I've described it before, as sort of an aircraft carrier kind of shape and purpose but on wheels then of course and I don't really know what I'm going to do with small grid uh, I don't think it's feasible to do large grid flying unless you go really really large but that it takes such a long time and yeah I think small grid fighter with cockpit far back maybe even buried But that's about as much in terms of an idea I have. I really, really don't know exactly what I want to do. Uh, I really don't have a, a clue, really. But we are getting close without bouncing is terrifying let's not go as fast as we did I do need to be careful since I need to actually go down this hole uh, if I remember correctly I did take care of all the defenses and my turrets are off so it should be fine There we go so here we are what i need to do now is basically cut out the um, the batteries any battery i need or want to get i need to cut out from this 
make sure I get them out without destroying them and see if I can load them up. Maybe even merge block two of them together and that way I can get two on one landing gear. I'm not sure. We are going to have to see. I will now leave this here and hopefully in the next episode we will be two large grid batteries richer and getting a bit closer to getting the the mobile base up and running and I, I really do need it for storage capacity and mobility so for now I think Having you click the like button for the video would be super awesome and nice if you did. Shameful, I know, but it would be nice. And I think we will be back. Hopefully, I have a vague idea once I get to the small grid, what I want. For now, I'm going to focus on the large grid since that's basically all I have a vague idea of what I want and how I may want to make it. So for now, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.